Hello my precious jewels. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie and if you like makeup tutorials, makeup hauls, makeup reviews, first impressions and all things beauty then you've come to the right channel. In today's video we're going to be reviewing this new Natasha Denona Golden Palette. This palette is part of a collection. I think it has like a highlighter trio and a lip gloss and I just really want to try this palette and see if it's worth all the hype. Is it worth the money and is it chocolate girl friendly? I purchased the last three of Natasha Denona's palettes and I think out of the three of them only two of them work for me. I just want to see are these shades pigmented enough for a deeper skin tone. So hopefully you guys will stay with me and come with me on this journey testing out this Natasha Denona palette. I'm going to do quick swatches for you guys. I did swatches in another video but I'm going to go very quickly with these swatches because I want you to be able to see what we're working with. Let me just tell you a little bit about this palette before we get started. This palette is gorgeous very sturdy very luxe looking this is considered like a luxury brand it has 15 shades in it i want to say it's eight mattes and seven shimmers or metallic shades natasha denona has not been very inclusive with her palettes because if you are darker than caramel you can't wear these last few palettes that she had then i need a nude palette the what does she had I, I need a nude palette retro it's like a retro palette which was like a, a green undertone i think i bought the my dream palette which worked really well and i did buy the xenon palette but i wasn't really happy with a lot of her palettes and it looks like the price has gone up i don't remember the last palette being 69 dollars so we're gonna try this palette and see if it's worth the money <laughs> is it worth your money or my money <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, so let me tell you about this Natasha Denona Golden Eyeshadow Palette. It's Iconic Formulas, Pro Level Pigments, and User Friendly Systems. It retails for $69 with overwhelming requests to bring back one of her most loved palettes. Natasha unveils the Golden Eyeshadow Palette, a new and elevated 15 shade version from her previous Gold Palette. Featuring new and existing shades in her Iconic Formulas, this palette is designed to create mesmerizing, golden hued looks. There's only three products in the collection, which was a bronzer, highlighter trio, a lip gloss, and this eyeshadow palette. I really wasn't interested in any of the other products. I really wanted to try this eyeshadow palette. It has mattes and creamy mattes, sparkling, foiled and metallics, and wet effect eyeshadows. Apply with a flat eyeshadow brush or the tip of your finger. I'm going to be very quick with these shades because I did, like I said, swatch them in another video. Okay, so this one is called Milko. Oh, which is a cream matte powder. It's off-white. Then we have Nubia, which is a sparkling foiled gold nude champagne. Then we have a matte cream beige, which is called Panna. I like that she has it noted so you can know what these shadows are. Then we're going into Aria, which is a matte, medium, light, dusty sand. That's very much a nude shade. <laughs> that's why I know that she could do a nude two palette for deeper skin girls. Yeah, that's what I think she needs to work on. Fizzy, which is a sparkling wet effect golden nude. Varies, which is a metallic, medium, antique brass. This is going into the second row. Then Aura, which is a metallic golden ivory. Then we have Teak, which is a matte medium dusty caramel. Then we have Kava, which is a sparkling champagne gold. Sandstone which is a matte medium ochre. You can't even really see that one. Let me do it again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Aurum, which is a metallic muted gold. That one is nice and pigmented. Log, which is a matte dark brown. I'm glad she got a color that we can give some depth to the look because some of her shadows, I'd be like, who really was she thinking about? Because 
I can't use this to deepen anything. Okay, then we have Oro, which is a metallic warm gold. Flesh, which is a matte light warm nude. And then we have Alchemist, which is a metallic brass. Okay, so that is all 15 shades. Let me see. Yeah, that is all 15 shades. Let's see what kind of look we can create with this palette. I'm excited because I'm always excited when I start out with a palette. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll be like, what is going on? But we already have our base and our brows on. Let's get started. I'm going to take this brush right here, the Morphe M441. And I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Teak. And I'm going to put that in the upper crease area right here. The shade is nice. It is definitely showing up. I think it's showing up better than the actual swatch did. It's deeper than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be this deep. We're going to go into, we're going to go into the shade Panna. And we're just going to go up here and blend out up here. And you know, usually I like to do both eyes at the same time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to catch up, but I want to just blend this out. I don't want it to be like a harsh line. I don't know, I feel like it's not blending out. I just want the line not to be so harsh up there. All right, that's better. Just going here again, a little bit lower. I'm gonna take this Sigma F75 concealer, <laughs> concealer brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Flesh, this right here. And I'm gonna put it on my lid. This lash glue is so hard. You, you be thinking it's off. I like that, but I don't like that brush for it. Let me try this brush right here. This is some, I don't even know what brush it is, but I'm just gonna go in here and just blend that out. I'm gonna go into the shade Alchemist, this one right here, and put that on the lid. I mean, it's nice. Let me go into one of the lighter shades. I'm gonna try this shade right here called Fizzy. I don't know if it's doing anything different. I mean, the metallics are pretty. I'm just gonna do this eye and then I wanna just think on it for a minute. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. Is it anything special? I don't know. <laughs> let me let me bring this eye up to speed and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm just gonna put this here. I wanna deepen over here. I'm going back into that same shade, Teak. You know, the, the formulas are nice. They blend in nicely. They're actually showing up for a change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put some lashes on and a liner and then do the rest of my face and then come back and do my under eyes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's a nice palette. It's definitely showing up. You know, you can only use but so many eyeshadows in one eye look. And um, I think that it's, it's decent. It's better than the last one because the last one didn't show up at all. So, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys one thing before I clean up my face. So, this does have some fall out you know the metallic shades that's why i didn't do my base makeup because you just never know what you're going to get when you are using different shadows most of the time you will get some fallout especially if you're using metallic shades so i'm just going to put some eye cream on i'm going to use this elf holy hydration eye cream i like it it's good i know they have a whole like holy hydration line but, you know, I try not to mess with my skincare like that. So I'm gonna go here with this. I just want you guys to know, all of the makeup that I have on my face, all of the makeup that I use in this makeup look, even though I'm not gonna talk about everything, I'm gonna have everything listed and linked below. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back to do the under eye. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Log and this shade Teak. I'm just gonna smoke out the under eye. So these shadows 
four mattes right here are very softly packed. They have a lot of kickback, a lot. Not so much that it's a bad thing, but you just wanna make sure that you are tapping your brush and make sure you tap the excess off so you're not getting it everywhere on your face. Yeah, I just wanted to show you me smoking out the eyes. I don't know why I didn't film this whole look, but sometimes I'm like, I know that they get tired of watching super long videos, so I wanted to just do certain things in different parts. You know what I was thinking while I'm sitting here doing my lashes? I was thinking, <laughs> how come there's no mascara? Instead of having to use a lash primer, why isn't there like a mascara with a primer in it? But I guess there are some, because those are the ones that make your lashes longer. I don't know, maybe it was a dumb thought. I'm gonna spray my face with this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm gonna go with this Dior bronzer, I'm sorry. 08 Deep Bronze. I'm gonna use this brush right here, the A11, and just contour my nose. Now this is not a super deep shade. All right, I'm gonna go into one of these shades to finish my inner corner highlight, and I think I'll use this one, Aura. I'm gonna take this same shade Aura and try to use it as a highlighter on my face and see what happens. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna wipe my lips off. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame Liquid Lip. Okay guys, I'm back and this is our finished look. I think the makeup looks very, very beautiful. I'm not here to talk about this makeup, I'm here to tell you about this eyeshadow palette. But what I will tell you is that this makeup, all of the products that I have on my face will be listed below, listed and linked. I don't even know why I didn't film the look, but I was filming two separate videos. So I'm gonna tell you about this Natasha Denona Golden Palette. Okay, so the palette was very, very nice. The shades showed up, the ones that I used, the shades did show up. A very pleasant surprise because I have not been able to get her shadows in the last few palettes to show up and not have an ashy look. So I will say that these shadows did show up. They're very beautiful. And I didn't mention that this palette has a mirror in it, it does. You know why I always forget the mirror because I never take this pack, this, I never take this paper off. Most of my palettes that you'll see that have mirrors, I just never take them off because I don't use them like that. But the eyes look very nice. The color story was nice. There's nothing extraordinary about it. Like I know that I could pull out at least three palettes that have very, very similar colors for a fraction of the course. This is the swatches. This is all 15 of them. They swatch nice. They swatched and they showed up just like they showed up on my eyes. Do I think this palette is worth $69? No, I do not. I think that the packaging is gorgeous. I love the packaging. I think it's gorgeous. I love the indentation. It adds so much character to a palette that could have been very plain if it didn't have that little kind of wave look to it. I think it's gorgeous. It was very well thought out. Just very elegant, very sleek, and very luxe looking. Very heavy, you can tell the quality is excellent quality like the shades look very very nice when I put them on my eyes now I don't know what I'm gonna see when I'm editing but right now it just looks like a nice gold look maybe I'll fall in love once I see 
the actual palette in action and I try it a few more times. I think that this was a very nice first impression. The eyes look beautiful. If you go on to like a party or you plan on doing a lot of summertime functions where you want to get glam, this is a perfect glam palette because gold goes with everything and I have a silver chain on. I don't usually take my chain off my neck so that's why I didn't take it off. Yeah, gold goes with everything. You can do a lot of variations with this palette. Am I going to keep it? I'm not sure. Am I in love with it? Not yet. There's a possibility. I got to see what else I could do with it because I did like the shades and I like the variation of colors and I like the depth of the colors. So we're going to see guys. I do like it. My first impression of it is that it's a very nice palette. I don't think it's worth $69. I think if you don't have something like this in your makeup arsenal, then it would be a nice purchase if that's what you want to do, if you like a lot of gold looks. I mean, this look is something that you could wear every day. It's not like I'm going to a party. This is like I'm going to work. Now, not to the supermarket, not to the laundromat, but this is like I'm going to work. So I do like it. Would I buy the bronzer? And you know what? It was so crazy because I was in the store yesterday, but this was on an end cap. It didn't have like a whole display of Natasha Denona. If it did, I probably would have picked up the lip gloss and the bronzer because I do like her highlighters. I never used any of her bronzers. I don't even think they're deep enough for me, but she did have a beautiful highlighter that I love, 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 love. And I have like three of them on stash because they discontinued them and it's just a beautiful color. I did a video about it last, the summer before last. It wasn't even last summer. But yeah, so I love the makeup. I think it looks very nice. I think the eyes look beautiful. These gold colors in the inner corner on point. I also use the color that I use in my inner corner highlight on my cheeks as a highlighter. It didn't accentuate the texture in my cheeks. I have texture. I'm never going to have like super, super baby smooth skin, but it looks gorgeous. So I do like it for the moment, but you know me, I'm very fickle. <laughs> so the next time I use it, I might be like, mm -mm, no, I don't think so. But I do like it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you'll give this video a thumbs up and you'll also let me know if you purchased it already. Are you going to purchase it? Do you have anything similar to this that you don't even have to go out and spend this $69 because that is very expensive for 15 shadows but when you break it down it's probably like about $4 a shadow right because it was 15 divided into 70 so yeah like four dollars maybe three dollars and change a shadow so I like it let me know what you think about this look let me know what you think about this hair I got a story about this hair you're gonna see it when the video comes out but anyway guys I love you today I'm gonna say you are happy because I'm happy today like I feel very very happy just to be alive, just to be filming, just to have gotten a lot accomplished today. And I feel very happy and I hope that you do too. So let's put happiness in our spirit and let's keep it there. So yes, I love you guys. I love you, my precious jewels. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this makeup.